गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे द टॉपिक विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कॉर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन वी विल लुक एट द अटेनमेंट टारगेट्स ऑफ द टॉपिक नंबर वन वी विल सी द अफेक्ट्स ऑफ पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव जीरो एंड अनडिफाइंड स्लोप ऑन अ लाइन वी विल लर्न हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द स्लोप बाय यूजिंग द फार्मूला स्लोप फार्मूला मेथड एंड थ्रू ग्राफ वी विल आल्सो लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द मिड पॉइंट बिटवीन टू ऑर्डर्ड पेयर्स Next is the relation between the slope of parallel and perpendicular lines. In the end we will learn how to calculate the distance between two points on a line using distance formula. Here in this video we will focus on the first two attainment targets. Now watch the next videos carefully. As it is linear, its graph will be a straight line. How do we plot the graph though? To draw any line, we need a minimum of two points. And to find the points, we can substitute different values in place of x and get corresponding values for y. Let's say x is one. Y will be four minus two, which is two. One comma two will be the coordinates of one of the points. Now let's try x equal to two. We get the value of y as four minus four, which is zero. So two comma zero will be the coordinates of the second point. With these two points, we can easily draw a line for this equation. On the coordinate plane, where will one comma two be located? One, two. Here, this will be one comma two. Similarly. 2,0 will be located here, and this is the line of 2x plus y equal to 4. Just to verify if this line is correctly drawn, take another point on the line and see if it satisfies this equation. Take this point for instance, 0,4. If we substitute 0 in place of x and 4 in place of y, we do get a 4. It satisfies the equation. There is an interesting way to write this equation. We can transpose 2x to the other side and write it as y is equal to minus 2x plus 4. But how does it make a difference? Why write it this way? Writing the equation this way gives us two important things. First, it gives us the slope. Minus 2 is the slope here. and it gives us the y intercept of the line here 4 is the y intercept y intercept is the point at which the line intersects the y axis isn't it amazing that just writing the equation this way gives us two things straight away the y intercept we can see is 4 but let's verify the slope it's y minus y1 over x minus x1 if we consider these two points We get two minus zero over one minus two. That gives us minus two, which is the same as this equation gives us. This is called the slope-intercept form. The general form is y is equal to m x plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. This session we have seen the slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b m is the slope and b is the y intercept to find the equation of this line let's try to find the slope first if x comma y and x1 comma y1 are the coordinates of the two points then the slope will equal y minus y1 over x minus x1 We have the coordinates of the two points here. If we assume a to be x comma y and b to be x one comma y one, then the numerator would be two minus minus two, and the denominator three minus minus one. This gives us the slope of the line as one. We have m, and we need to find b. It's easy. If the slope is one, this can be written as 
y is equal to x plus b. To get b, just substitute one of these values here as both points lie on the line. If we substitute 3 in place of x and 2 in place of y, we get 2 is equal to 3 plus b. The value of b is minus 1. y is equal to x minus 1 is the equation of the line that passes through a and b. Just to understand it a bit better, how will the line look? We have the slope as 1 and y intercept as minus 1. It means the line passes through 0 comma minus 1. How will the line look on the coordinate plane? The line passes through 0 comma minus 1. And as the slope is positive, the line will look a bit like this. We try to draw the line using the slope and the y intercept just to understand it better. An easier way of course would have been to plot points A and B and then draw a line passing through them. Anyway, so the equation of the line is y is equal to x minus 1. On the coordinate plane, let's assume we have a line like this, parallel to y axis and passes through 3 comma 0. The slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. What is the slope and the y intercept of this line? As the run is 0, the slope of this line is undefined. And as it does not intersect the y axis anywhere, it does not have a y intercept. The equation of the line is x is equal to 3. Here's an interesting question for you. What do you think will be the slope and the y intercept of this line, which is parallel to the x axis? It has no tilt, the rise is 0. The slope of this line will be 0. As it meets the y axis at 2, the y intercept will be 2. And the equation of this line is y equals 2. Now, here are the links for the online practice. Before doing the written task, practice these links to further clear your concept. Upload the screenshots of your written task on Google Classroom for teachers' feedback. Thank you.